and support and, and all the sharing and the links and everybody trying to, to do their best and alhamdulillah tonight's talk inshaAllah very important and to people to meditate and our guys to, to produce a, a nice video that uh, Allah gives us five times a day an opportunity to see Prophet I don't really think we understand the immensity of the gift of salah. Anyone wishing to see Prophet have a dream of Prophet Allah is giving that opportunity in each salah. Five times a day Prophet face is facing us, an open and a mercy and a rahmah to his nation and loving his nation like the father over all souls, Abu Arwa. So an immense, immense blessing, immense opening from only Allah and that people whom hear it they, they experience it. Anyone hearing these talks they should be experiencing the talk and that the holy face of Prophet open for them to witness that reality, to be blessed and to be dressed by that reality. So no need for anyone to email that they want an awrad to recite so that they can see Prophet Allah gave us already the salah five times a day, Alayhi salamu alaykum ya Hanbi and connect your heart after your salah that you connect your heart and see yourself in the presence of Prophet and open your heart and open your tears and alhamdulillah. InshaAllah make everything to be easier and immensely more powerful, hidden treasure wanting to be known, alhamdulillah. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Sayyidi, can you share with us the different levels and sensations of worship? Different levels? and different sensations of worshipness to specific. But I think the talk already described whatever you were trying to ask. That's what we say that what people have in their hearts of understandings or wanting to understand or the expansion of an understanding, tonight's talk was uh, immensely, immensely expansive took your worshipness to completely different level, means there's a qibla for your body. So you come new to Islam and there's a direction in which to face your body and that body faces Mecca, Muqarram, the honoured and holy house of Allah in Mecca that is the symbol of oneness so that it calibrates us, stop the many. Stop yourself because the manyness of gods is people's nafs. They worship themselves and their own desires and they become many gods. They have the god of smoking, the god of drinking, the god of business and money and desires. So the first qibla is drop all those and direct yourself to the Kaaba. Then as they progress there's a qibla within their heart and then the reality goes deeper and deeper into that ocean of reality and to the presence of where they're praying. So it means then when their heart begins to open, the qibla of their heart is in Medina. So first you came, you directed your, your body to the oneness and the drop everything and come to the oneness. And that oneness begins to teach us, La ilaha illallah is teaching us, okay I'm accepting that you're understanding oneness and this yearning and this love that you have, your heart is the ocean of where faith has to come. So then what was faith? Was to love Prophet more than you love yourself. So that means your heart has to be filled with Muhammadun Rasulullah So it means the heart is then facing Medina to Munawwara. So they pray with their body directed towards Kaaba 
but their heart is with Prophet And as they begin to progress and, and know that, my heart is always with Prophet then they become to understand Maqam al Ihsan, pray as if you see him. And if you don't see him, he sees you. But that was tonight. Means then your soul is facing wajik al kareem when your soul's prayer begins to open and the words of what you're reciting you hear. They have ears but they don't hear. When you hear and you place your body in tawheed, you put your heart in the love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad then your soul is teaching you these words we're reciting, we're in the presence of a holy face that looks at us continuously, that dresses us continuously. From Ayatul Kursi, when you recite Ayatul Kursi neither sleep nor slumber overtakes him. But we're not talking about Allah Allah's not in creation, Allah's not in a chair, Allah doesn't sit on a chair and these are ridiculous things for people to think. Allahu la ilaha illa hu that is out. Means that that is for Allah But the rest of Ayatul Kursi now begins to describe this holy face and the power of that face and what the face represents of a chair, of a, of a throne. So Imam Ali when they were talking with Sayyidina Uwais al-Qarani have you ever seen Prophet this long dialogue and they were debating, what do you mean have we ever seen? We've seen, he said, no I think he's asking us, Ya Sayyidina Omar that Wasil Qarani is asking us something else. He said, one time I lifted Prophet and I saw all the universes within his reality from seven heavens to the seven earths and then from the neck up Imam Ali stopped, he said, from the neck up was uh, from uh, Arsh rahman And the Divinely Throne is related to the face. The chair has seven points as does the face, four legs two arms and the, the seat of the chair, the, like the tongue, like the alam. So the four points that hold the kursi and the two points are the armrests and then the… like the seat is like a tongue, like a alam, means that Divine Throne <coughs> Is wajik al kareem is the divinely face, and Allah has us in our salah as a gift to the nation and to all creation. As salamu alayka, ayyuha Nabi means this wajik al kareem, this generous face, the face that never perishes. Huh? What we say after Surat al Yaseen in Fajr, because this is from Sultan al Awliya that this, the Fajr awrad, when you recite the Fajr awrad, it's a journey to the face of Sayyidina Muhammad. And every name and attribute and every recitation is for the soul of what he's reciting as he's witnessing his soul in the presence of that Divinely face. And from all its realities and at the end of Surat al Yaseen from all of its Divinely dresses and then stating that all things perish, everything will perish 
but the holy face. And that's all that they seek. Though they feed you for the sake of that face, not from the compensation of people. They do everything for the sake of that face, to be dressed by the face, to be under the, the love and the nazar of that face. And that's why Allah gave, don't ask Prophet to listen to you, but that let his Divinely face be directed to you. His ears are for Allah his eyes are for his nation because his ears are created to hear Allah's Sami al-Basir. Prophet's ears are a Sami al-Basir, controlling hearing and Divinely seeing through the faculty of hearing only for Allah From the eyes nur al-hayy. So that when we say, Unzul halana wa ishfalana and at your salah when he's looking, nur hai is coming on to the servants and souls, all salah, all salah. They know it, they don't know it, Allah doesn't care, Allah's gift to creation is this holy face. And as soon as they pray this nur hai is dressing. From Prophet's light and eye dresses them when they make their salah with nur. The other eye of Prophet's soul is dressing them from Bahr al Hayat and reviving their souls, giving their souls their eternity station through his Divinely tongue, he's giving alam and ilm. When he looks at the servant from his tongue, a light comes to their mouth and Allah dresses them with Sifat al-Aleem. And that's why Imam Ali asked that, grant me from your saliva a sweetness onto my tongue. And how to make your tongue sweet in life is with the praisings and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad and all awliyaullah say, make your tongue sweet with your salawat and durood sharif. Why? Because this is Sifat al-Aleem that if Prophet gave, he gives from his saliva onto the tongue and as a result it makes their mouth and their tongue to be from eternity and sweet in the love and the ishq of Allah That's the, the immense reality of the tongue of Prophet and how we gain that tongue Allah gave in our salah and how we get the dress of that tongue is lots of durood al-sharif Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim wa Muhammad wa sallim Muhammad. The Muhammadan light is dressing that tongue like the coolness of the oceans of Kawthar begin to dress the servant's saliva. And their saliva then becomes a shifa and a healing. That's why the saliva of a mu'min is a healing. Not a mu'min that goes to a masjid and says, he's a mu'min. But he didn't even become Muslim. And the only way to become Muslim was that they had the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Then they became mu'min when they were granted nurul iman means they love Prophet more than they love themselves. So of course then the saliva of a Muhammadan is a shifa and a healing. And then that same tongue is the inheritance of an alim. And then the holy nostrils of Prophet is Bahr al-Qudra. That the face of Prophet begin to dress their nostrils and their breath. Every time they breathe, Qadr is dressing onto their soul because Al-Qadr, Alim, Qadr. The breath of Prophet is dressing them from oceans of power. And that's why when they're meditating and breathing 
from the reality of Prophet he's igniting with their breath the power of their soul, their soul's fuel is in their breath. And how somebody can smoke and, and destroy the breath that Prophet gave to them? So then they understood that every time they're breathing Prophet is dressing them from oceans of Qadr and they begin to ignite the reality and the power of their soul. And Allah gave to us five salah five times a day to make that connection. Maqam al ihsan we pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the reality of this holy face and then grant from us the sweetness of that reality and that that nazar of Prophet always to be upon us. And that nazar comes from khidmat. If we understood tonight the immensity of what Allah is giving to us and if you wanted to unlock that immensity khidmat. Serve your shaykh, serve the way, serve the poor, serve with your entire being. Qul inna salati wa ahnu suqi wa ahma yahya wa ahma mati lillahi rabbil alameen. That with my life, with my wealth, with my family, with everything in the way of rahmatan lil alameen. So that to be under that nazar and that that Divinely beautific face begins to dress us. And as salaamu alaykum ayyuhal nabi and Prophet wa as salaam and that dress dressing us and blessing us inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As-salaam.